actually chilly. It's cold for a horse show. Oh, to run down to the barn and get a couple of things that we need for the horse show. But I realized something huge last night. Getting ready for a horse show when you're not, when it's not your own horse, so much easier. We've been doing it wrong. I don't think we've ever showed or gone to a horse show without our own horse. I don't think we've ever showed any other horse besides our own. Back to the tack trunk. I need a, I need a, uh, I need a, this. I need this. Who knows what this is? This little tiny thing costs $15. Well, it used to. I don't even know what it costs now, but what is it? Comment below. What is this? I also need Sophie's riding gloves, and we have really nice riding gloves, and I don't know where they are. Back to the tack trunk. I used to keep an entire Ziploc bag of show gloves in the tack trunk, and I can see her show gloves right on top there, kunkel. Show gloves haven't lasted us for very long. Most of the time they like, they break through the fingers or they rub them, rub holes in them. And the kunkel gloves have actually really lasted. Gabby's still wearing her kunkel gloves from like two years ago. We're ready, how you feel Sophie? Good. You feel ready? Yeah. All your show clothes fit you? Yeah. Oh, thank goodness, because we didn't even try them on until last night and she's only 12. Last time I she wore? The day before, like the day of the show. I didn't yeah. try these pants on because I knew they'd fit because they're the same size. Yeah, pants. but literally, like Sophie's only 12, so growing a lot right now. Like this is her growing time. We didn't even try anything on till last night, but yeah, they all fit. Today I'm bringing my fancy camera, and I am going to take pictures of a Sophie and Chance for a project that we're working on, and I'm gonna take pictures of her in the show. These are her riding gloves, Kunkel. Hopefully they fit, I'm sure they will. We got them a little bit big and they're in perfect condition. Try those babies on. I always like to share whatever gloves we have if somebody else forgets them. Gabby and I are helping two little tiny girls, like beautiful little girls you guys would love, catch their horses and it's funny. <laughs> so this is us helping. <laughs> I love the little kids with their little ribbons. It's so cute, I miss that. So this is the first sale table at the show. I actually want to try one of these saddles on chance to see if anything fits them. But if you're looking for a saddle for your like little mini, these are these are adorable. Look at how tiny those are. And they're real leather. I might buy one of those for Willow. So it's a happening show already and Sophie's big enough she can get ready on her own. We got Denver, he stayed in all night and he's still looking cute. Brandon cut his hair, signature Brandon haircut. I know, I feel your pain. Gabby was supposed to do it, but she got chickened out. She didn't want to make a mistake. And how did you get your no nostril dirty again already? How, how did that happen? His hooves still look pretty clean. His feet still look pretty clean. So I'm gonna take pictures for the barn. I brought my camera, so I'm gonna try and take pictures of the competitors. Okay, Sophie's big enough now that she can totally do everything herself. Yeah, the tail still looks gorgeous. Thick and gorgeous. Okay, so Sophie's gonna get ready and get on and warm up because- I'm waiting till they're on their second course. All right, I'm gonna leave it with Brandon. Brandon knows what to do. <laughs> I need to go sit down to put on my boots. You actually have to do your boots up all the way today. Yes, I know. Gabby's still helping. Brandon just asked Sophie if she put saddle number nine on Denver and we don't even know where Sophie is. This is literally the, the, the less crazy show we've ever been to. Like I hardly have to do anything. <laughs> Our kids got to the age where they can do it all themselves. Yeah, freezing. Yeah, I'm freezing too. All right, Sophie's ready, almost ready. Your mom said you can have You know what we need to get? We need to get a pin. So I know like the pins have been considered not necessary, but I see people with pins and it looks so cute. Sophie, you gotta do up your buttons. All right, and she's gonna do up her boots today. Did you, did you get them up already? No, I'm doing that once I'm gone. Oh, okay. There's one here. Oh, it is. Yeah, go ahead, take. All right, so we are finally ready. It's our turn. I ended up taking pictures of all of our riders. 
Here, can you hold him while I go pee? All right, I'll meet you out there, Sophie. <laughs> Back. Where did Gabby just leave you? All right, we are on. Sparky's been in a stall. This is Denver. Denver has been, <laughs> Denver has been in the stall. So, so he's a little tired, or so he's a little fresh. So he's gonna go warm him up. So that's our two homegirls. This was such a good uh, good show. One thing I noticed, a huge thing that I noticed, all her ribbons. Good start. Denver was fighting you? Yeah. Denver didn't want to stop, so he said. Denver did not want to stop, so he's fighting me so much. Yeah, normally. Just stop, we're supposed to be walking. <laughs> yeah. Usually it's the other way around. Because person told us to. I don't know if we're allowed to have this stall. Seriously, I noticed like, so we started going to shows long ago and I feel like I learned so much going to shows from the beginning but one thing that I learned was to like stress out when it's time to get ready and stuff. Like I, I don't know how I learned it, I don't know why I learned it, but at this barn, they teach you like the opposite of that. You're like, it's all about being calm and it was so much better. So that was such a good happening show. I loved it. It was amazing. Sophie did really well. And that's what always confuses me. Like we have people online that say that our kids don't know how to ride and they don't know how to, they should be just doing basics. They shouldn't be jumping. And yet, our kids are always competitive at shows. Like we go to local shows, we go to Trillium, whatever. They always like do okay. They always do well. You can tell that they're like the same as their peers. So it confuses me. But anyway, she did so well. Denver is totally the right horse for her. It's too bad that he wasn't for sale. In fact, the owner said, hey, do you want to buy my horse? <laughs> and we're like, yeah, we'll buy him. But he's not for sale. He's, he's amazing. He is a perfect, School horse boy, holy heck, he's amazing. Anyway, it was awesome. How do you feel, Sophie? We only had one refusal. Yeah, one. No, it's because he was. That was in the warm up, though. Yeah, and that was because he wanted to go out. I feel like if Sophie rode every ride she does as though she's in a show, she would like be. I do so much better when a bunch of people she, are. Yeah, she, yeah, she does so good under pressure. She doesn't even really get stressed out. She just gets out there and gets the job done. Only a bad yeah, thing. I'm gonna do. say it. I'm gonna say it. She didn't do up her boots. I told her to do up her boots. Usually at a show, and this is what I've been trying to say this whole video. Usually, like it's us that does all the, like our coach would be at the gate, uh, warming people up and coaching, and it would be like the parents that would take care of all the things. This time, it was our coach that like took care of everything and warmed up. I don't even know how he did it. I do not even know. Like Sam and I just sat there the whole show. Almost the whole show. I saw Sophie like twice. It was just so crazy and amazing. And I like it that way. It was so much better me not being like involved at all. And she did everything so well. So because I wasn't up there with Sophie and with Brandon to remind her to pull up her boots and to help her pull them zipper up because they're tight. She just hasn't worked them in. She just she's never gotten into the habit of working them in. Gabby always works her boots in. Sophie did not has not worked them in. So I'm gonna help her at home this week working those boots in so she can just zip them up easy. And then there's no problem when she goes off with Brandon and I don't see her for the whole show. So that's why her boots weren't undone. Not, it looked terrible, I agree. But we're gonna work on that for next show. We should have worked on it already, but it just time got away from us and I am always there to be able to help her. And today I wasn't there. Anyways, it was such a good show. I loved it. I can't wait till the next one. The next one I think is Gabby's show again. And we're gonna get Chance ready and he's gonna show next time, I think. I'm not sure how it's gonna work for sure. I'd like to keep Sophie showing Denver and show Chance in something less because like a smaller, like a, a smaller division, something where he's not like jumping, obviously. So I think that's what we're gonna work on. And yeah, welcome to show season, you guys. It's getting crazy up in here and we are 
just gonna be doing so many shows and so much riding. I love summer. Can't wait to get Chance going. Can't wait to get Gabby and Chino back at it. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys tomorrow.